very big disclaimer for this video, all right? It's a bit of a hook, yeah? Five ways to go faster on your mountain bike. Considering the state of my uh, injuries, some might consider this a little bit um, in poor taste, but you know what? I'm passionate about mountain biking. This was filmed before my accident. And even if I was riding now, I'd be trying to go faster. I'd be trying to go better. So I hope you don't get too upset that I've had a spinal injury because I was riding my mountain bike. I wasn't going fast at the time, or relatively speaking, not going that fast. So one of the first things I love to do on any trail that I go to is just ride the whole thing top to bottom. Don't stop, just try and ride it. See what it's like. Have fun. Of course, my next video will be how to go faster in your wheelchair, because that is so tasteful too. It's really difficult when you don't have the required skills to see this line. The trail wants to take you straight down the middle, but you need to go wide and left. Okay, so next, go back to the top and keep going up and down certain sections. Find your right line. All right. Better. Have another go. Yeah, when you get it wrong, that's why there's so many scars. I think I've mostly got the bash guard. Oh, let's try it again. Oh. <laughs> try multiple lines to try and get this. with a bit of speed. All right. All right, we'll try and pump the back of this drop for speed. And get it up and over. Okay, so the ideal line that you see here is straight down the middle, past this shark's tooth rock. Shortest direction, shortest distance, and just round this sharp corner. Very tricky though, because there's just not enough room. The next option is taking it wide left and over the top of these rocks and then back around the corner again. However, the setup to the left is a little bit slower, a little bit tricky around the edge. And again, you can see the crank marks that have been left on the rock if you don't get it just right. Tricky. You might think there's an option down the right hand side. You can slide across the top of the rock but there's a rock in the heather and it doesn't give you an option to corner easily into the right hand turn. So what about the obvious choice? In the end, I used this big shark's tooth rock to just pump over and just push straight through rather than getting caught on either side or through the middle. Not the most elegant solution and I think ultimately rebuilding this little bit of trail might make it smoother and more fun to ride but if you've got to choose a line, it seemed to be the best option. Much better, that's it. Ah, 
Oh yeah, you're right. Third thing, is there really anything wrong with being obsessive? Just keep going at it. Obsessive, obsessive, obsessive. So I love reading about mountain biking. I love watching mountain biking. I love doing it over and over again. You've got YouTube, you've got Pink Bike, you've got books like Lee McCormack's How to Ride Mountain Bikes. So much resource, Strava, Trail Forks, everything out there, it's great. Yeah, that's not a good angle to come in. Right, that one starts up good. Alright, so this is my obsession on a bit. Maybe off this rock, up and over that, down the other side. So, as you can tell from these few clips, I keep practicing all of the techniques. I'm not great at them, but I keep practicing them. Bunny hops, pumps, jumps, anything to get faster and better. press off that, drive up into it and jump it. The moment you fell into that. Because right. that's almost like kick off there and back in. Nearly over the bars there. 
<laughs> that was really bad. Did not drive into it. Okay, gotta focus on a strong core. All right, come on, focus on body position. Let's go. Kicked off that jump. Whew. Now that'll be an interesting segment. Overshot it in quite a lot of ways. Okay, so wherever you can, ride with a better rider. But if you can't, get your own Strava times and try and beat them. Try and beat others' Strava times. It's great fun. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Please hit like. Please keep checking back in and see what my progress is like. I'm passionate about riding. I intend to get back out there on some kind of a bike as soon as I'm able and as soon as I can get back into work and get my family life back to normal. You know, got to get all of the priorities straight.